Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, how we can create a simple WordPress website by using uh, LightSail. So generally, if you want to create a WordPress website, so we need to deal with the uh, EC2 instances. So we need to perform like uh, configurations and installations like uh, MySQL, PHP, and Apache configurations. So but what Amazon did, they have introduced a service called LightSail. So that basically comes under uh, application as a service like uh, so whatever the WordPress application we have so that application is delivering as a service so basically it is uh, if, you, if you're talking about uh, software uh, service model so it comes under uh, software as a service SaaS application so Amazon started this service with a tagline called no nonsense pricing so if you want to have a WordPress website you really don't need to be a techie guy. So you just need to know how to log into that WordPress admin console and how to add plugins, how to create users, and how to change the templates and all. You really don't need to sit for hours and hours and uh, write that programming languages and all. So now, here I'm in Mumbai region and I'm navigating to LightSail. Under compute, you can find the LightSail. Let's click on LightSail. And um, here is our instances option. So just click on create instance. Now here um, Amazon uh, is giving some blueprints. Whenever you're choosing Linux operating system, you will get the blueprints. But whenever you're choosing uh, Windows operating system, you are just going to Windows OS and uh, Windows Server 2012 and 2016 operating systems. But there is no blueprints available or applications available here. So let's select the Linux and here is the available uh, blueprints. So if you want a WordPress website, simply select this, WordPress multi-sites, Lamstack, Node.js, Zoomla, these are the supported ones. So I'm selecting WordPress, then scroll down. And here, if you want to give any launch script, you can give that. And here um, is uh, this, whatever the server we are going to launch, the light sale instance is going to contain one default SSH key pair. So if you want to change that or if you want to download the default SSH key pair, just click here and here is an option, download. So you can even download this after creating uh, this light sale instance also, but uh, just click on download. So you are going to get this PEM file. So in future, if you want to get connected to this uh, EC2 uh, light sale instance, or uh, if you want to convert this light sale to one of the EC2 instance, so you can use this mechanism. So, on the same side, so I just downloaded here and it is uh, stored in my download path. So then, what is the plan you want to use? So as I mentioned, so Amazon started the service with a tagline called No Nonsense Pricing. So the reason is, if you're taking an EC2 instance here, you need to put a lot of efforts. Uh, first, you need to launch this EC2 instance and you're going to get charged for this uh, operating system you are going to get charged for the configuration you are selecting it here and whatever the storage we are adding we are going to get charged for this and how much data transfer is in and out to these ec2 instance that is also cost us so there is no particular predictable pricing for this mechanism and again on top of that you need to put a lot of manual efforts to create that wordpress website but in light sale everything you are going to get it as a bundle so whenever you are exploring this light sale for the first time so it is going to be free for the first month so these are the different available configurations so you can filter these by using memory utilization processing storage or data transfer so based on your requirement you can pick that so i'm going to choose this first month free one so once you're done with that first month make sure you terminate that or just practice and make sure you terminate all the resources. And here, what is the name you want to give? And how many WordPress instances you require? I just need only one. So then scroll down, click on create instance. That's it. This light sale is going to take uh, approximately four to five minutes. Then we got a public IP address here. By using this public IP address, we can access our website. And um, I'm going to move this key pair to one of the accessible location. So however, you can find the status here. So as I mentioned, uh, this is going to take a couple of minutes. 
so i'm going to pass this video for some time once it is ready i'm going to resume it so once this instance is ready how we can um, how we can know about the status of that so you are going to get a default wordpress template here all right so here uh, we got the default uh, wordpress website so now this is this is a default website so i just want to uh, change this template or uh, i really don't want to go with this uh, you know default options like a users blog instead of this i want to make it as a avinash blog or instead of hello world i, I just want to change something and i want to push all these changes to entire the world so for that we need to log into this uh, light set so here uh, you can find the console option so when you click on this console it is going to automatically connect to our running uh, uh, instance so but um, this is the ip address so we just want to log into admin panel to modify all this so for that give the ip address slash wp iphone admin then click on enter then it is it is uh, taking us to login page the default username is user and here we need to enter this wordpress page password admin password for that get connected to this terminal give ls when you give ls there you can see you can find a file called bitnami application password so this is a default password so let's give cat bitnami application password and you can observe here this is a default password we got so let's copy that and paste that here this is a password and just click on login all right so we have logged into this wordpress admin console now if you want to customize your site you can use this if you want to change your theme completely here is an option if you want to manage the users here is an option you can just navigate to users so here is a user so click on edit and here uh, just mention uh, what is the first name you want to give uh, you, you want to so what is the last name what is a nickname so display name publicly as a user or avinash or avis way you can just choose this option and what is your email id you can just give that email id and what is a website uh, what is a you know what is a domain you are going to map to this you can just give uh, all those things here and uh, biographical information about yourself and you can set a profile picture and you can even generate a password so this is an auto generated password so you can just hide that or you can set a password here uh, confirm use of weak password and update profile so now you really don't need to go with that uh, user as a default username and all so now we got uh, uh, a user uh, here uh, the email id so you just need to log into that particular email id and you need to confirm that so sometimes not sometimes most of the times that uh, wordpress emails automatically may move to spam also now let's go to dashboard and uh, here is an option customize your uh, site navigate to customize your site and click on change so do you want to edit this or what what exactly you want to edit you can just go here you can select all those options so click on um, this users blog edit option so instead of users blog i want to make it as a avinash blog then um, just a demo website is a tagline i am giving then click on publish so when we click on publish so whoever is trying to access your website by using this public ip address or a domain name so they are going to get these changes immediately see here avinash blog and it just just a demo website and you can edit all these things by navigating to this uh, wordpress website so you can change the site colors you can change the background images you can simply select the image you can upload images from your local machine and you can just uh, you know uh, upload that and you can start using that so you really no need to be a techie guy to uh, perform all these modifications and uh, to publish modifications to entire world so this is my current theme i really don't want to go with this theme i just want to change it so here is an option change click on change and the available themes here 
or you can go to wordpress.org theme. So approximately 4,000 themes available uh, here based on your requirement. Pick your theme, preview that. If you are okay, just uh, install and uh, publish that. So immediately it will go to the end customer. For example, I really don't want to go with this theme. I want to go with this. Just click on live preview. It shows a preview and whatever the modifications you want to perform. I really don't want to go with this image. I just want to change that image. So you can just go here, uh, add a new image. You can upload images from uh, your local machine. So I have an image. Okay. Seems I have one here. So I'm going to uh, select the crop that image. Click on crop image. So then click on activate and publish. So now. Once it is activated and published, and whenever we give refresh, see here the background image and the data we have given. So it is uh, um, as simple as this to create a WordPress website and deliver it by using uh, LightSail. Again, how to map this public, public IP address to your purchase domain name so that uh, you can refer to Route 53 playlist. So there we have discussed uh, how we can map uh, your domain name or how to register your domain name. So that's it uh, for this video guys. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we are going to discuss how we can migrate this instance, uh, LightSail instance, so from um, uh, LightSail to our uh, EC2. Thank you.